Hey guys, today I'm playing some more city skylines, and last time I think I accidentally flooded this, really. I was, I don't know, I was building this circular thing over there. I think there was something of a, uh, of a tidal wave from where I deleted this canal. Um, so, yeah, that's scum. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I think maybe just put in a water pump, um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just pump that water out. Uh, yeah, see, it, it's pumping. There we go. Oh, that worked well. Hey, I solved a thing! That is rare. That is really rare. I mean, there's still a bit of water about, but... I mean, that's true of everywhere. These jet... What is that sound? Is that gunfire? Nah, it's just general bustle. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so apparently it's still flooded here. It does look kind of wet. Is that true of all the roads? Oh, yeah, I can see there's some water there. Ah, uh, I mean... That had... Ah... Uh, I mean... Oh, wait. Oh, it's it's going away. I'll just leave the pump there, then. Alright. Uh, just don't let me forget that. Comment in real time. Well, that'll... Uh, we'll just let that run its course. Yeah, last time I was building this and I looked over there, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, this worked out reasonably well. Um, I mean, there are worse things in the world. Uh, like, um, let's not think of examples. It'll just get mean. And I'll probably say Nigel Farage, and I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, he got the fuck out of Dodge, eh? Anyway, don't be flooded. Oh no, I thought that was flooding. They just don't have enough. Educated workers, complex. Yep. I've got a education, sadly, is an all time high. Only a little under a quarter of my people are uneducated. So, hey, it's a good balance. Works good. Works real good. It's real good. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we work on the farming town as well. God, so many things. So many things. Just throw that in here. Throw a few more on there. We want a nice farm get going. You got a bit of a actual town bit up here, but I'm also going to put in like a few houses here. I'm going to do it quite sparingly as well. I don't want there to be a house like everywhere. I want there to be like one house occasionally, and then just trees and shit. Um, yeah, I'm going to be quite artsy with this because uh, I like I like that sort of stuff. We'll just kind of place a few around, and we'll have to have shit tons of power lines. Um, but yeah, I, I want this to look more like a little farmy town. So yeah, we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, those will hopefully pop up at some point. It's going to be real nice. <laughs> and then over here we have the dirty oil industry. Making oil, murdering our planet. Yeah, oil companies are bad people. <laughs> Not the like, people who work for them, obviously. But, I mean, it, they're hiring lobbyists that used to be used to... Um, Make people keep smoking, it's like... Surely that tells you something about... Oh shit, there's still a ridge here from where I was stopping the water. I'm gonna leave that, it's a part of my history. Uh, part of this shitty city's history. Shitty city, maybe that's what it would be called. Kinda like how Illinois is called Killy Illy. I don't wanna... I don't wanna highly educate people. Then they want good jobs, and I don't wanna give them good jobs. Uh, oh yeah, that's not happening. Official park. I just need more office zone. We can do that. I mean, I've got to fill out the rest of this. And then I don't know what I'm doing here. I think this might be houses and shops and shit. Actually, I think this may be houses and parks and cool stuff. And then... No, this will be shops and parks and cool stuff. And then this will be houses. So that it divides up my shopping districts. Because there's a lot of shopping districts. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, this is probably some of the last offices that'll go in here. Maybe I'll do these as well, but yeah. Um, and then there'll be new office districts in other places. I've got a lot of land. I don't know if I'm actually ever going to fill up all of this land. Because there'll be so much lag. I think maybe the lag will probably uh, be the <laughs> be the end of my uh, city. Or the end of the Let's Play. I have no idea where it's going to end. It's always hard to tell with uh, city skylines. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I've got a lot of series going on right now. I don't know. I've got freaking... Oh shit, I broke something. Oh no, we're fine. They just lost power randomly. Oh well, that's fine. That shit happens, you know. 
Oh, see, that's... Oh, that looks kind of like a farmhouse. I mean, sort of. Oh, that's actually like three households. That looks pretty cool. What does this one look like? Not bad. Still looks kind of inner city, though, really. Because it... Uh, sort of. I don't really know. Um, yeah, we'll... Oh, we'll put some... What looks like it would be in a... Because we don't want... Like this sort of thing there? That looks too much like it's... Yeah, maybe maybe just like a playground. Maybe that'll be more... Yeah. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks like the kind of thing that might be in some creepy little town. Where there's like bees or something. Because Nick Cage, you know, read a book. And then don't read a book and watch that film. And then don't watch that film because it's terrible. And read a freaking book. Uh, <laughs> uh, weird thought paths. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll have so many foot paths. I'm gonna love this little town. It's gonna be nice. Which is a rarity for things I build. Um, usually they're horrifying. And instruments of death. Not so much in City Skylines. I haven't built a ton of instruments of death. I've built a few, somehow. Um, I don't think game developers like me. Uh, <laughs> because... Imagine if they saw there's like City Skylines, peaceful game, managed to drown like a shit ton of people. Um Kerbal Space Program, super peaceful game, trying to be educational, turned it into a war game, although that's Penguin's fault. Although I was kinda of doing that stuff before it, so I don't think the Kerbal developers will ever like me. Um although although great news on the being amazing front. Um Oh good, they're linked. Um Fucking, I, I was playing Gunpoint, because uh, it was in the summer sale, uh, and I, I got it for, like, pretty cheap. And I was like, oh, this might be fun. M amazing game, Gunpoint. Came out in, like, 2013, so you may have already played it. Freaking amazing. Uh, loved it. It was really funny. Uh, really fun. And then, obviously, I mean, I looked up Tom Francis, and I actually bought the pack with the um, making of Gunpoint video, where he, Tom Francis just goes, he's the developer, the main developer, and he just goes through all the stuff, uh, like, he talks about all the things, and then I found his YouTube channel and stuff, and that's all pretty fun. Anyway, so I tweeted out, um, uh, uh, something like, I just finished playing Gunpoint, um, um, oh, yeah, I just finished playing Gunpoint, Tom Francis is, uh, <laughs> has to be one of the funniest writers ever, because it's just like, it's just so, just, just so dry and funny, the game, the whole way through, and he liked my tweet, yay! Yay! And obviously, I, 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 when I said Tom Francis, I used this Twitter app thing because I'm an attention whore. Um, <laughs> oh, there's traffic. I should thicken this road. But yeah, anyway, I was very happy that they liked my tweet. I was like, yay. Um, but I like Tom Francis. Um, also made me think about uh, doing like devlogs because I'm, well, I, well I, I work on games a lot that never ha happen. And I'm working on something right now which I would really like to happen. Um, and I think I'm going to just do like devlogs. Um, just like little things, then it might, um, uh, then it might, then it might just, uh, might just, uh, kind of motivate me to definitely do more stuff with it, and it's fun to talk about it, and I could probably get feedback, so if I ever do end up releasing this thing I'm working on, it would be better, because feedback makes it better. Uh, I think this is superfluous now, this power line. Um, nothing broke. Yeah, so I might actually do some devlogs. Uh, maybe. If y'all would be up for that. Uh, I also might help me find an artist, because I'm not much of an artist. The game I'm working on is like a top-down thing, so... Um, I can I can definitely do... I, I can do that sort of art, but I think obviously that there are people who would do just an infinitely better job than I would. I think that would be really nice to see. Um, yeah. So yeah. Also, if you happen to be an artist and <laughs> don't want to be paid, for some uh, sprites, that'd be great. Yeah, that's obviously the problem. Is uh, yeah, kind of. Well, that was another thing. Conference said is because he would be in the same situation as me, where it's like, I have this project, I kind of need an artist. I don't have any money, so I can't really pay you, and I might release it for free, so you might never get any money. But if this sounds fun, then totally call me um, or email me. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I might try and do something like that because it would just be. Well, it, it's more of a passion project, well, it's just a bit of a passion project for me, so it would be nice to just... That's the other thing, is if someone starts working on something with you just for fun, then they're going to be more into it than if they're doing it for a paycheck. So, 
Yeah, that, that helped me think about things like that. But yeah, anyway, so, long story short, I make a little game, might do some devlogs, might try and find an artist. Um, would be good. And maybe, uh, I don't know, I might just use all of my subscribers for like testers and things, like play this game! Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. And if, if you, if that did bug your interest, there is an email, uh, address in my info page on my YouTube thing. If That's just general, if ever you want to email me. I do like getting emailed. Um, I, I don't know, I prefer it to other things. Um, but, you know, don't spam me. Don't spam me, bro. Uh, Alright. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just kind of building and talking about stuff. That's the whole thing now, though, because I've built all of the cool shit. And now it's just time to, <laughs> now it's just time to expand and finally finish this whole thing off. Uh, well, no, it'll be a while before I finish this city. Uh, but at some point, maybe. But, yeah. Oh, also got my, uh, got my uh, freaking, as long as we're talking about things I'm doing with computers. Um, sex robot, no. <laughs> I got my uh, results back for my first year of university. They were pretty good. It was like an 80 out of 100, which is like, a first is a 70. 80 is pretty high. It's like, super high. It like, if you do school, it probably doesn't sound that high, but like, 80 is like, 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 really good. <laughs> which is weird, because I'm not a very good student. Although, uh, well, I'm... Well, yeah, I was gonna be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say I'm good in science, but I did get an 80 in my first year, so... Fucking 80, bro. Like, like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's... I, and, oh, the weird thing was, in, in maths, which I always used to suck at at school, and I maintain that's school's fault, because um, I was one of the kids who'd be like, yeah, this is school's fault. Um, uh, those kids are dicks, so... <laughs> Although I do think school is sort of terrible. Um... And needs to be less terrible. But anyway, yeah, I in maths I got an 87. It's like, that's good even at like GCSE and A level. But in a degree, that's like... And in my final maths exam, I got an 88. Like... I, I did really well. I like me now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, super proud. Will be bragging. Um, that's what that was. Just let's not, let's not dance around it. That was bragging. Um... Oh yeah, I need a fire station. Oh, I have a fire station. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright, oh, what's this little house? Oh, cool. It's a little tiny little shack. And then we've got... Yeah, a little house. This is gonna be nice. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, they'll need a school. It's one of those tiny schools that like educates like three people. That was a weird. That'd be weird. Oh, they'll need transport. They've got to get the fuck out of here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just put them on an overground train. Oh, yeah, I could do I'll put them on an underground train. Way easier. Um, so if I have this here... Um, no, I prefer the idea of an overground train because it makes it seem more like it's... Um, it, it, it seems more like a like a out a separate town. The train station allows tourists to travel to and from the city. Place the station. Yeah, but the problem is, I think that might not let people go from like here to another train station. Um, you know what? Fuck it. They'll get cabs in because there is no underground from a little town to a big town. I will do a bus service here, though. I'll also need a taxi depot. Yeah, I'll put this here, like in the actual town. Oh, that's gonna be nice. And I'll also do a bus service. So yeah, that'll drive them all the way in. <laughs> yeah. I don't want it to be super well connected, because they're not the same place, you know? So then a bit of a bus stop. Don't tell me you don't have power. Fuck yeah. What do you need power for? Lights? Heat? Fuck you. Um, I may not be a particularly good mayor. I know we've covered this many a time, but I'm really thinking that I would be a very, very bad leader of anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, except a game development team. Hit me up! 
<laughs> yeah, I, um, yeah, I am looking forward to doing that. But I need to get it to, uh, to a place where it's dev loggable. Although the engine's coming together nicely. Looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah. Alright. Okay. Put another, put another house in. Just a few houses, you know. Maybe I'll have a couple next to each other. Oh my god. They're, they're like the closest people in this whole town. Um, these people will be perfectly happy with their lives. Because apparently money doesn't equal happiness. Which, uh... Sounds weird. That sounds off, really. I mean, that can't be true. <laughs> then why are poor people complaining so much? Um... <laughs> no, I'm pretty poor, and I'm pretty happy, so... But I do have a big-ass computer, and that's mostly what makes me happy, so... Yeah, I mean... I think the first... 100 grand probably makes you happier. You know? Like, up to 100 grand, you're like, ah, oh, this is good, and then after that, it's like, ugh... So much stress having all this money. Although it would probably be kind of fun to be obscenely rich. Like... Is per firstly, you could be like, yeah, I'm obscenely rich. That sounds like a good thing. <laughs> yeah. But maybe, uh, I actually heard, um, a while ago that in the old days, I, f I don't know when, but, uh, I guess maybe when America was great again. It was great before, um, which I still haven't been able to pinpoint because... Like, it's been, I mean, except for a few rich white guys, you know, it, it's never been that great. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, well, well, yeah, you have the thing about tax. Uh, apparently, in the old days when America sort of worked, um, not that it works any less than, well, I don't know, nothing seems to work right now. How does nothing work anymore? Um, did we just forget how to economy? Anyway, uh, <laughs> besides the point, apparently uh, in America, people, uh, the, the rich, the really rich, would use, used to pay 90% tax. And apparently that worked just fine. Apparently that was just fine. Like, people were like, oh, this 45% tax thing. And obviously the way tax works is you have various brackets. So, like, you know, you pay, if you're, if you if you're earning, like, say, under 10 grand, you pay no tax, and if you earn over, say, f uh, over 10 grand, you pay, I don't know, well, like, 20% tax, but you don't have to pay that 20% on that first 10 grand, so, yeah, so everyone would be pretty well, uh, pretty well up to, like, what, like, 100 grand, then you start paying more tax, and, yeah, it makes it harder to accumulate huge amounts of wealth, but <laughs> I think there's probably quite a lot too much emphasis on, um, accumulating huge amounts of wealth these days. Like, I think people are like, well, we got to protect these rich people from losing their money. It's like, actually, no, they're fine. They have money. Like, if someone's earning, like, $10 million a year, and over a million dollars they have to pay 90% tax, then they're still earning a lot of money. You know? Just like, come on, guys. I know, maybe not 90%, but I think a much higher figure is should be really considered because like it just doesn't work anymore I don't know how I keep getting onto politics but I, I, I think it's probably just this game is it emotes politics quite a lot um, I'm gonna do something with this island at some point but I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now because I have filling up this bit and my little town project which is my main my main deal but yeah I'm gonna want more people here to work on those farms um, oh, this power line's in a terrible place. Well, it can just slowly move as I move down. Alright. How's Alcatraz doing? Have I renamed it Alcatraz? No, it's just prison. A dead person is away in transport. Also, what I realized was... I think these are multi-gender prisons. Oh, I think I've already mentioned that. But anyway, that sounds like a bad idea. Um, what are we doing? Alcatraz. Alca... I've capitalized. Alcatraz. Is that how you spell it? No, Al that's Alcatraz. Alcatraz. I think it is that. Well, near enough. 
What do I want over here, these are both? Maybe just another little town. Yeah, that's quite like a lot, uh, quite a few just small towns, really. Um, because I think the city is gonna, kinda gonna sort of stop. My, I, think, I think maybe I'll use this island as well, uh, although I doubt I'll need it. Um, and then this will be kind of, this is, I think this, if I ever unlock the Eden project is where it'll go, this is supposed to just be really nice. Um, just like, yeah, and then, and then they'll maybe be like, I want to put some cool little houses and stuff on here, then maybe just a little town out here. Is there any ore over there? Because I could do a little mining town, that might be quite cool. Oh, there is. Oh, mining town, awesome, that'll be cool. Um, then yeah, I think the city will kind of end here as well, and drift into a little town. Uh, and then obviously my farm in town might do something over here. Yeah, I think that's probably what I'm going to do because I, I can't fill this all up with city. Well, maybe I should try. Just kind of this monolithic, ridiculous city would be kind of cool, I guess. Uh. Oof. Uh, where did that come from? Oh no, it's a tractor spawner. We've got weirdly red pigs. Cool. We've got crate fact farm. Okay, cool. We've got uh, barns. I want to find some cows. I keep hearing cows, but I've never seen them. I guess it's probably an orchard more than a crate farm. I mean, why would you need a crate farm? Ah, there's the cows. Hey, cows! What are you doing? Nice. Any whom. Need more industry. Um... Uh, did I, these all offices fell out? Yeah, people really do want offices. I should find a new office district, although I am putting offices over here. Because um, this will be just a glorious little place. Uh, and then I think these modules are really done right now. Because uh, I think they're pretty much at capacity with cars. And this is getting close to capacity with cars. Um, yeah, you can see I need to do something about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe if this was just... Maybe if these were just on and off ramps. That might work better. Let's try that. Might as well. Uh, so that there's no traffic light here. Because that's going to be an issue, isn't it? Um, so we... Just full on... Off ramp. Well, I guess that'd be an on ramp. Although... Ah, who cares? Damn it! Ah, <sighs> yeah, of it, it 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 does it curves the wrong way. Cause like you don't want that. Yeah, you want it to curve more like that, I guess. But yeah, I want it to be like that, basically. Yeah. Anywho, and then. Oh yeah, that also needs to be able to get over there. So I want you to be able to go right across this. Why, why can't I do that? Slope too steep, okay. Um, so yeah, maybe if I, I actually do move this down, like this. Um, yeah. So that you can get off here, get on there, and then yeah, okay, that'll work. Um, I mean, it might work. Yeah, so you can basically drive out here, get on there, and then get off. Uh, I know this is the wrong way around, it'll probably cause loads of bullshit, but, you know, that's fine. Ooh, actually, uh, if we're doing that, then this might as well be one way. Yeah, it just does that. And then this just comes back around. <laughs> And then you get on the thing again. And this means there'll be no traffic lights and junctions on this, and it should run better. I'll make it look pretty soon, but... Yeah, I think that should work better. Maybe. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do, donkey. Well, yeah, there's obviously still the density problem, but... <laughs> That's fine. I don't, I don't think there's enough cars for it to really be an issue. Yeah, and this all stops up here. Ugh. I don't, I don't think I'm ever going to solve traffic in this city. 
Um, or any of my cities. It's just too difficult. It's just too hoid. Uh, what the fuck is this shambles? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, it's, yeah, okay, I see. Alright. My traffic plans are all shambleses. What is the plural of shambles? Because shambles sounds like a plural. It is one, is one, just a shamble. Like, oh god, man, look at that fucking shamble over there. No shops, that's weird. I guess there's no demand for it, yeah. So, no, because it's like, oh, well, that was a shambles. So that's a plural. So, if you had multiple shambles in a day, is it like geese? No, is it like sheep even? So it's like, oh, look, there's a sheep, or there's some sheep. Is it, there's some shambles? Man, those, those fucking events, those were some shambles. Or is it, those were some shambleses? Or some sha- I don't know. <laughs> I will ask my girlfriend, she does English literature, and I'm sure they spent all day talking about the plural of shambles. I mean, I would. I mean, I probably do. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about everything. Computer science. We can get rid of this now, because this is all connected. But there's a band called the Baby Shambles. Is that, are they a bunch of baby shambleses? Is there multiple shambles in there? Are they a bunch of baby shambles? Or is it a shambles involving babies? Fucking hell. This is complicated. More complicated than the Rectum Matra Regicide. Which is when someone kills, when a spider kills their mother, who is also the queen of the spiders. Oh god, that's horrifying. Playing Metro Last Light Redux right now, and <laughs> there are so many giant spiders, and I have a phobia of bugs. Like seriously, I was uh, watching a video last night. It was kind of, it was like two in the morning or something. Um, and <laughs> this moth flies in, and I'm like, fuck a moth! And I spent about half an hour. Just like shine this torch around with this like pad, like I'm gonna get you, moth. And I really don't like killing things because, well, I mean it seems super arbitrary, and arbitrary snuffing of life is not a great thing. Anyway, that's a whole different issue um, of me turning into a hippie. Uh, <laughs> oh, so far from it, but um, also so close to it. I'm my own man. Shut up! Don't don't label me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So basically I spent half an hour trying to get this moth and then eventually gave up because I realized that I shouldn't let moths control my life. Um, but moths scare me because like, mostly because I was always taking this freaking butterfly garden when I was a kid and it's like this indoor butterfly rooms, you know those places that are basically worse than Guantanamo Bay. Uh, I'm sorry if you're actually at Guantanamo Bay right now, but they're letting you watch YouTube so I mean it can't be that bad. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, and there was this one, there's like this cage, and in it there was this giant bird-eating moth that sounds like it could fucking eat my hand, because my hand's like bird-sized. Um, well, I don't know how big of birds they eat, but I mean, I don't know, maybe they eat fucking eagles. Although that'd be amazing, that'd be like moth for a versus. Anyway, I'm getting off track, so yeah, that scared the shit out of me. And I never used to be scared of moths, but now I kind of am. I think, because uh, my sister was also scared of moths, I think uh, you... Your siblings pass down their crazy fears. Like, my girlfriend's afraid of eyes because her sister was afraid of eyes. And I think the moth thing is probably passed down because my sister's intensely afraid of moths. Um, my mum's afraid of birds. <laughs> and they always used to be like, and I'm also quite afraid of wasps because wasps can fucking sting you and hurt you. And they're always like, that's so silly. I'm like, you're afraid of moths, which do fuck all. And you're afraid of birds, dude. Birds are just cool. Anyway, I don't know why I'm yelling about my family, but I'm yelling about phobias. Anyway, yes, this is the end of the episode. We got our town going. We got expansion going. We got, um... I don't know, we haven't expanded that much this episode. We've done stuff, but we've mostly just been working on that town, really. But yeah, it's probably going to be quite a few more episodes like this, but I hope you are enjoying it. I know, uh, I think the views are probably dropping up a little, but you know, it's like episode 40 or some shit right now, so... Yeah, it's gonna happen, and it's, I'm, I've probably stopped with my crazy water shenanigans. Although, I, maybe I'll try a little more of that. Because, I mean, that's mostly what these series tend to be about. Um, yeah, look at that. That's nice. I carved that a few episodes ago. 
Um, but yeah, maybe we'll... I do want to build my canal a bit, um, but I guess we'll see. But yes, anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you are looking forward to the future episodes and maybe some devlogs of games. I will see you next time.